It is with uh, deep sadness that I announced the sudden death of Belleville City Councillor Patricia Cohane. She passed away late last night surrounded by her family at the Belleville General Hospital where she had spent 50 years of her life caring for others in our community as a pediatric and emergency nurse and then as a supervisor. We are grateful for all of the emergency medical staff for their efforts. All of us on Belleville City Council extend our condolences to her son Tim and her large family here in Belleville and across the world. The city of Belleville has lost a passionate advocate for our city and a defender of all of our citizens, especially those who she considered the most vulnerable. Pat always took the view that her seat at this council table gave her an opportunity to be a voice for her community and she was determined to exercise it. Whether you agreed with her or not, we always knew where she stood and she was able to articulate her position clearly and effectively. We have lost an important member of our council and we will feel this loss for many years to come. Funeral arrangements are being considered by her family and the city of Belleville will cooperate in whatever way possible during this time of COVID-19. More information will follow when it is available. A book of condolences will be available at the front door of Belleville City Hall here at 169 Front Street until next Monday, November the 16th. Those who would like to extend their condolences to the Culhane family are asked to sign the book during business hours from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please remember to wear your mask and respect physical distancing at all times. Councillor Patricia Culhane was first elected to Belleville City Council in 2006 and then re-elected in 2010. She sought election as mayor in 2014, narrowly losing by only 161 votes. After a four-year break during which she did contract nursing in the Arctic, she returned to City Council in 2018, where she served on numerous committees and represented Belleville on the committees of Hastings County and the Quinty Source Water Protection Committee. The flag at Belleville City Hall and all municipal buildings will fly at half staff until her internment. For those watching uh, on television or on the City of Belleville streaming service, I would like to point out what we have here at Councillor Culhane's place. The City of Belleville flag is displayed proudly on her chair, representing the great love Councillor Culhane had in serving as an elected representative of the people of our city. The photo is from when Councillor Culhane was sworn in this term, and there is a rosary to recognize her faith as a Roman Catholic. There is also her nameplate and her officially requisitioned water bottle. Finally, there is the largest coffee mug possible, as Pat um, liked to have a lot of coffee during our council meetings. I will now ask uh, councillors to each bring forward a solitary red rose to leave at her place starting with Councillor Williams. Councillor Millette. Councillor Sanderson. <laughs> Councillor McCaw. Councillor Carr. <laughs> 
Councillor Thompson. Councillor Kelly. Uh, 